How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat and in today's lesson we'll be looking at codes. Codes test your ability to spot similarities within given letters by identifying common features and also how well you can apply different rules. A typical coded shapes question looks like this. It says which code matches the figure given at the end of each line. What you have to do is find the answer to this figure right here. Let's take a look at the approach and then we can start to tackle some of these together. First step is to look for any repeated letters and underline them. Coded questions will have a repeated letter and if you can spot that, what you want to do is find out what is similar with both of those letters. The second step is to identify the first and second letters as soon as possible. Remember, what you're looking for is a common feature. Use your observation skills to make links and find what's common in those two particular figures. If you find the letter B in one possible answer and B in another, you can then figure out how they are both linked. And finally, always double check your answer with another shape. For example, if E stands for a vertical direction and your answer has the letter E in it, then it has to be in a vertical direction, otherwise it can't be the correct answer. Let's go back to the first question and start tackling it. As you know, we have to find the code to this shape here. Firstly, what I'll do is start by underlining any repeated letters. I can see H here and here. D is also here and C is repeated as well. Just checking once again, there doesn't seem to be any more repeated letters that I can see. Let's start with H. Remember now we need to find what these two shapes have in common. It can't be direction since they are both facing differently. But what I have noticed is the shading. It has a specific pattern that is in both. Black, white, black is here, and then black, white, black is here as well. So now we can note down that H stands for black, white, black. This also means that the first letter represents shading. Looking at C, which is repeated, what these two figures have in common isn't shading, since that is all to do with the first letter. What these have in common is the direction. We can make a note that C stands for a diagonal direction. Our last letter that was repeated was D. These two shapes are both facing upwards, therefore that is the code for D. And it also means we've found the feature of the second letter as well, which is direction. What we now have is the first letter representing colour, and the second letter representing direction. Looking at the figure, we need to find the code for this colour scheme, which is white, black, white. Now all we need to do is find a figure with a white, black, white colour scheme. If you look, it's this one right here. And since we identified that the first letter represents shading, then that means the first letter of our answer is A. Now moving on to the second letter, what we are looking for is direction. We need to find a figure with the same direction as this, which is right here. The figure HY has a horizontal position, and since we only need the second letter which represents direction, the final letter of our answer is Y. Therefore making the answer AY, which is C. We can double check this if needed. A represents white, black, white, and that is the same colour scheme right here. Also Y represents a horizontal direction, and this figure here is facing horizontally. Now let's move on to another question. Which code matches the figure given at the end of each line? Right, now you know we need to find this figure here. So let's use the same methods as last time. Firstly, underline any repeating letters. A is repeated here and here. Also, you've got B and C as well. That's it for the letters that get repeated. Now what we have to do is spot common links between each letter and figure out what the first and second letter stand for. OK, let's start with A. Now straight away, you can see that these two figures don't have the same direction. The one thing they do have in common is the shading or colour. They both have a white colour. There's also C that starts on the first letter, so if we take a look at these two figures, they once again both don't match up in terms of direction. But C features a grey colour. Therefore, we now know that the first letter represents colour. Also, A equals to white and C equals to grey. B was another letter that got repeated. If we compare these two shapes, what can you see in common? Remember, it can't be colour since that already represents the first letter. If you manage to spot it, what they both have in common is the direction. Both shapes here face downwards, resulting in the second letter representing the direction and the code for B is a downward direction. 
If we now go to the figure that we need to find out the code for, let's start with the first letter, which is shading. We need to find a figure with grey shading. There's one here and there's one here as well. Therefore, the first letter of this code is C. On to the second letter, which we identified that it represents direction. What we're looking for is a figure facing west, right here, AL. And remember, all we need is the second letter. So now our code for this figure is CL, which is the answer of D. A good habit is to double check. C is our first letter which represents colour. We are then looking for a figure with grey, which is here. And the first letter is C, so that's right. Then the second letter we said stands for direction, and this figure faces in the same direction. The letter we needed to take was L, and we did just that. So there it is. The answer is CL. This question says, which code matches the figure given at the end of each line? Like before, let's start off by underlining any letters that are repeated. We've got F that is repeated, C also repeats, M doesn't repeat, neither does K. That seems to be it then. Just F and C repeat in this question. Which makes it slightly more challenging as we don't have a third letter to double check our answer with like last time. OK, F. What do these two have in common? Well, it can't be shading, that's for sure. But what it can be is the number of circles, which in this case is 1. To double check, what we can do is look at the other figures. Now, since all of them except for these two don't repeat, what we are looking for is completely different letters at the start. We've got M, L and B. So that confirms that the second letter does in fact represent the number of circles in each figure. Once again, how we got to that was by looking at the links between AF and CF and noticing what was similar, which was that they both had one circle inside. Since no other shapes have the same amount of circles inside, then we know if any of these figures have different second letters, then that means the second letter represents how many circles in each figure. The next letter that was repeated is C. Let's take a look at what these two have in common. Remember, it can't be the number of circles since that is now identified as the second letter. But what I do notice is they both have the same shading, so therefore the letter C represents black, which then means that the first letter represents shading or colour of the shape. Now that we've identified the first and second letter, let's look at this figure that we need to work out the code to. Since the first letter is the shading or colour, what we need to look for is a figure with a white colour. AF here. So that means the first letter in this figure's code is A. Moving on to the second letter is the number of circles within the figure. We need to find a figure with one, two, three circles, which is KL. All we need to do now is take the letter L, which represents three circles, and add that to our code, which now makes AL. If we look at the selection of answers, AL is there and represents A, which is the answer. Just recapping how we got the answer is by underlining the two letters that repeated, spotting what was similar, which was either shading or the number of circles in each figure, and then using that knowledge and applying it to this figure. For the next question, why don't you have a go yourself? A slight hint would be to look at both shape and shading and remember the approach that we've just been using. Pause the video and then in a few seconds I'll reveal the answer. The answer for this one is C. Let's break it down in steps. Now, by underlining any letters that repeated, you'll figure out that the first letter equals shape and the second letter equals colour. By looking at the end figure, you needed to find something with the same shape, which is this figure here. So you now know that X represents a triangle. Since the second letter represents colour, you're looking for a black shape, which is here, HA. Taking the letter A, and adding it onto the code for this figure, it now becomes XA, which is why C is the final answer. That's it for today's lesson on completing the codes. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this, and I'll talk to you in the next one.